It's February 10th, 2004. 51st Dates, starring Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler, will be released to theaters this week. And we get introduced to future judge Nole Marin and his dog. Welcome to part of Make It Fashion. Hello guys and welcome to Pod But Make It Fashion. I'm Dennis. And I am Sandler. And welcome to a new episode of Pod But Make It Fashion. Today we are at episode 5 and the episode is called... The Girl Who Is a Visual Orgasm. Mm -hmm. I think it's about me. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, okay. If you want it to be all good, all good, all good. Well, we start this episode with what? Because I have no idea. (laughs) Let me tell you this, Um, Dennis. It starts with the girls chilling in the house. And then Miss Tyra comes over and doing a little skipping in the house. They is that the beginning like, of the episode? The beginning of the episode. You see a few things. I, I think they're talking and blah, blah, blah. I don't oh, yeah, know they what had about. those talks with the Tyra. That was and it. They have yeah. the one on ones with, uh, with yes. Tyra, where Sarah is talking about that she's dealing with her father, not knowing yeah. that she's there, her Persian, yeah. Persian father. And a, a lot of other one on ones. It was kind of harsh that, what, like, imagine because what uh, she says, did she say that at the time already? That, that if her dad knows that she will disown her and everything? I'm not sure if she says that. But um, I think if she says it then or not, it doesn't really matter. But can you imagine, like, that your dad will disown you if you oh would my just God. if you be a model because he thinks oh. that being a model is being a, a whore. Uh, being you're a whore. whore. You're the lowest of the lowest of the lowest. Yes. Yeah. Well, intense. for me, you are a visual orgasm. So <laughs> <laughs> not a whore. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice. The one on ones. It was cute. It was cute. It was. I. Yeah. To be fair, it's. Tyra mostly talking about my experience because what was it with Shandy? Did Shandy said something like, "Nay, what she was t- she was taking over talking about her mother or something or wasn't it with Mercedes?" Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh yeah, that, that's she like, yeah, I'm I'm very close to my mom. I am very close to my yeah. mom. <laughs> when I was 17, I was uh, going to Paris. My mom blah. like, "Tyra, you do the one-on-ones with them, right? They're not doing the one-on-ones with you." Yeah. Yeah, but still oh. I do feel like just to not put Tyra all the way down, she does sit there with a very open mind, very chill. I would like if I think if I would sit there, I would be like, I could talk to you too. It's true. I That's could talk true. to you too. That's true. But That's I do true. also feel like it's. But maybe it's also in the editing. That you only see because maybe it goes back and ah, forth. That they only show Tyra's bit because that's the thing they think we are interested in, which in fact is not that? the case. True, true. They will still want to make her the superstar. Like t- Tyra, talk about your uh, your childhood. I'm like, I don't care. I want to hear what Mercedes is going through because I'm following her in the competition. That is so true. Oh my god. Well Aww. said. Well said. But um, after that, it, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. They're gonna have to <laughs> go to a personality coach. What? Is that job? <laughs> Hello, what's your uh, what's your occupation? I'm a personality coach. But that's true. They are going to this but, man. But to be fair, personality coach right now that's a big thing. There's a lot of people, not a personality coach, but like life coaches. That's a thing right now. No, a life coach. I understand, but he made it more like what I really found weird. Is he says like we're going to learn about or something like that. He says something. Like we're going to learn about the magic of charisma, and I felt like. That it made it look now like, oh, how you come across is not something how you are, but I can learn you to, I can teach you how you can pretend to be coming, how to come across. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it was like super superficial. And the funny thing is, the person who thinks she's doing it is Camille, but we know after all these episodes, it's not working because she's trying to put herself out in a certain way, but it is not, not working. working. Because uh, there was like a checklist of like a hundred, oh, yeah. <laughs> like a hundred personality traits or things you think about when you talk about someone else and they had to write down what they thought of the other people like the check 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 oh those 10 things like uh, i think uh, nice uh, open uh, demanding uh, whatever and then everyone had like nice things and yeah camille had only like the superficial (laughs) uh, one-sided demanding arrogant (laughs) arrogant. (laughs) and and, and after that he was like uh, who of you uh, girls is uh, offended? And Camille's like, me! <laughs> she was over it. Who's feeling attacked? <laughs> no, me. but it's hilarious. The way she was reading that list, she was like, mm? arrogant? The, like, she was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. It's true. <laughs> I'm like, girl, like, just maybe you can also flip it over and be like, 
okay, if they're saying this about me, why are they saying this about yeah. me? Because apparently there's how many girls left? Nine? Eight? Eight girls? Eight. Eight. And there are seven girls saying this about me. Like, even if you don't believe it, you can also think like why are they saying this about me? True. Because even if you feel you don't come across that way, try to understand why they gro- why are they thinking that about me? Even though you feel it's not true, but think about how how is this possible that they all think that? Even if it's true or not, but like I would be like, okay, what what do I do? Yeah. But we will never get in a situation. We only get the nice thing, like pretty <laughs> visual <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> That's all I get there by myself. Okay. Well, the personality coach is gone. And then Jay Alexander comes over in the house. <laughs> oh, Miss Jay. He should be personality coach. I love him. He's I adorable. love him but and her. Yeah, what he, brings a su- he brings a surprise, a psychic. Oh, my God. I, uh, a bit and too much. she can tell everything by knowing the date of do, birth. Do you believe in psychics? No. No? I don't think I do. I don't know. I've never been to a psychic. No, no, no but the, you don't even have, but the, like do you believe that 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 it's something or do you believe like no 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 it's it's a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of it's Ooh, well, Rowley Crawford. I don't know. What I really never feel like like are are, are psychics also psychics, like yeah. psychics also people who like talk to the dead people and stuff like that. Yeah, like, er, er, like anything oh, with that. What, no, I don't think no? I believe in it. No. I don't know. I think because there's always it, like the uh, sorry sorry to interrupt you. But I was no, it's okay. like it's always like stating the obvious things. Like oh, uh, like you know, I always have to think back of Char. You know, the medium. <laughs> like okay, does your father's name start with an A? No, a B? No, a C? No, a D? Yes, I knew it. Yeah. Like yeah, <laughs> and that's the feeling I get with this. Like you yeah. can always ask until there is something right. And like how did you know? I'm like come on. Yeah. No, I I don't know. I I kind of believe. That yeah, I, I do believe that certain people have a have a have a, a, a the, gift the gift the gift or a gift in that way because some people like it's the same thing as like some people are more uh, are better in math and better in in language or like everyone has kind mm-hmm. of like a talent in something or something they feel which is normal to themselves but it's not normal to other people and I think with psychics it could be that way too but i do believe that if you don't believe it excuse me (laughs) (laughs) it was a deeper if you don't believe it then it will never happen for you like for example i think Mm. if you would go to a psychic it wouldn't it wouldn't have effect on you because you're already sitting there i don't believe you yeah but if you if you i wouldn't say open up to it but if you're like open Uh to it i think it can it it can it can be something okay but I also feel there are psychics and there are psychics. Yeah, and do you think with this psychic? Because, for example, the last three episodes or two episodes have been about Mercedes, Mercedes' disease of having lupus and that she's not telling anyone. And then Mercedes is sitting there and this psychic is saying like, oh, your mind is stronger than your body or something like that. Yeah. Uh, do you understand this? I'm like, is this... Come on, is this really what what she says, like, as a psychic? Or did they tell her, Mercedes has lupus, we as a production know, and we want to get it out, so now make it look like we can tell as a psychic that you have this. I'm like, come on, you know this. I don't know the name of the psychic, but you're an actress. No? Oh, no, I don't believe it. Because okay. I, I, I felt that when she was saying it, and Mercedes was like, no, I don't get it, that she was like, <laughs> okay, you're not open to it, I'm done with you. Ah. Be, but... There, are, I believe there are psychics and psychics because some. I think the things she said was like she wasn't saying you're this, you're that. It was more like, a, more like a vibe thing. And what I also liked is she was just like she was just saying it. She wasn't like I feel like it's something. She was like, okay, it's this and this and this and That's that. True. Take it or leave she it. She was not vague. No, and um, I also felt feel that it wasn't very open what she was saying she was um yeah she was kind of like also with sarah like okay you feel rejection from your father just get over it <laughs> yeah it was very like pam 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 yeah and um it, that's what i like about a psychic when it's like um i've never been to a psychic to be honest but when i see when i see psychics somewhere that they're like take it or leave it because in fact that's what they do because i remember in the netherlands there was a show where they had like it was with the carlo and uh, irene they had like a or maybe just carlo never mind no, only irene no, no, no. It was with Car. Oh. It was like 
Um, those are Dutch hosts. Never mind. If you are from the Netherlands, Dutch hosts. Hosts. <laughs> no. Those are the Dutch hosts. Card only data. But um, never mind. They did like a show or whatever where they wanted to find people with a gift with the gift, and there was a man who could feel things when he was holding hands of someone. I think, and he was very clear. He was like, "If you don't believe it, fine. I'm not going to deal with you." Um, I'm I'm just gonna do what I can, and if you don't believe it, that's fine. But I'll do what I can do. Um, yeah. So they're like very straightforward because I hate it when people are like, no, believe me, believe me, because yeah. then I feel it's fake. Yeah, true. Well, I always feel that it's fake, but I agree with you with this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I don't always like the the things they said to their girl. I was, I was like, yeah, nice. And there was because of this psychic, there was like a beautiful moment. I think uh, of Shandy. Yeah, she had to cry. And all the girls were she super broke. supportive. She broke, and she, she was like, broke. "Oh, I, you know, I want. I'm the black sheep of the family, and my mother, and my father, they didn't treat me, treat me the way I wanted to be treated, or I don't know what. I don't know what, exactly what 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 went on. She was never hugged. She was never hugged. Yeah, she said she was never hugged only by the girls here, which is her family, and then all the girls were like, also Sarah, who is also as as apparently a very tough background. It's like, how could the parents do it to Shandy? Like everyone was. It was a nice moment for Shandy. Yeah. Oh, bless her. Bless, bless her. her. And then but oh, Miss J giving a hug and the music. I am. I am. I'm going there. <laughs> I was like, oh, take me there. I want to cry now because the music is also beautiful. It's beautiful moments in the life of America's Next Top Model. No, uh, okay. I didn't hear what you said. What did you say? Sorry, oh. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> well, use your psychic abilities to listen to back to it. <laughs> I don't. Have I have like a very nice <laughs> roundabout about it. So you were like reading your notes. Oh, what's next? Yeah. Uh, all right. What what no, is next, Dennis? I wanted to see if I, I wrote something down, but now I get it. Because next up, we're gonna get um, the girls get to test their personalities. Sorry, and then hear what you were saying. What did you say? The girls are gonna test their personalities. Oh. Uh, with an interview by a mystery guest. And the mystery guest is Janice Dickinson, Ooh. the first supermodel of the world, self-proclaimed. And a <laughs> oh, best-selling, best-selling author. author. What kind of book would she have written? We should have looked it up. Ooh. Yeah, well, we will look it up. Yeah. Let us know. Let us let us know what book did Janice write. Um, yeah. Um, probably, uh, probably like an autobiography about her life. Probably. Her thought, boss probably. Or whatever. We don't care. But, uh, oh, j- yeah, we do, actually. One yeah, thing to say about Janice, the fish stockings? Oh, the fishnets. The fishnets. It will not. The book you wrote will not be a fashion book because you have <laughs> no idea how to dress. I mean, come well, on. That, even in the early two thousand, it was a hooker look. She looked so like from from the from the skirt up. It was. She looked pretty, and she was funny. Yeah. I liked her in the challenge. I always liked Janice. She's very like straight yeah. to it. Yeah. But um, they had an interview with Janice, and um, uh, it was kind of like a test to how honest they were. And um, w- that's what one thing I find I found hilarious. That's what I wrote down. That's what I was looking for when I didn't hear what you were saying. Um, <laughs> that okay. uh, Camille was being interviewed and she had an attitude. And like Je- uh, Janice was saying that to her. And Camille was like, oh, no. Like, And even she said, that was hilarious. He said to Janice, like, yeah, sometimes people think you're a bitch. And then Janice was like, people think I'm a bitch. And then, I didn't use that word. Yeah. And then Camille was like, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the, some <laughs> girls might say that about you. She was like trying to backtrack a little bit, but like, girl, you already said it. It was, it was awkward. over. It was awkward. And, and and Janice asked the question, who do you guys want out? And it was like, Camille, 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 Camille. Why? Because she is, what is it? Joanna oh, yeah. Said, Joanna said, because she is. Vicious? No. She's evil. No, or she's she, a witch. She's the, she's the devil. Yeah, she sounds like she's the witch, she's the devil. Yeah. So, because she's the devil. I don't know. She's devilish. Something uh, like that, yeah. It's it wasn't Camille Day. It was but, not Camille Day. But, but you know what's it never what was hilarious about the end of it? Like all the girls, they were together, and they got like an explanation uh, of Janice, like hmm, it's like she went from girl yeah, to girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when they said something about attitude, they zoomed in again on uh, Camille's face, and you can tell again she wasn't having it. And I'm like, cameraman who did that, oh God bless you. Oh, it was hilarious. But it was Dennis, hilarious. If I ask you the question. Like let's. I'm Janice and you are Dennis. Okay. Yeah, Janice and Dennis. Okay. And I first. Who do you want out of the competition, Dennis? Actually, Katie. Okay. I would. I would. I would choose Katie over Camille. Ah, yeah, me too. Me too. And then, what's the weirdest place you've ever had sex? The weirdest place. <laughs> I haven't had that many weird. But in the forest, maybe. That's the weirdest one. Ooh. <laughs> do you think that that's not that intense? No, See, Amara was saying like in a bro- in a, a broom closet, broom closet. Of high school, and Katie said, 
I'm a virgin. And you oh, saw Janice, you saw Janice like her no, eyebrow up like girl. That wasn't. I, I don't, we don't care. I, yeah, I don't believe that. You don't believe it? I don't believe it because the way she said it, she was like, "I'm a virgin." Like, sh- like she said it to yeah, shut yeah. her up. Maybe she only did anal. Then <laughs> 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 you can still call me called a virgin. <laughs> 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 All right, who wins the challenge? Um, Mercedes, because, because she's honest about lupus. lupus. <laughs> now, now it sounds like the professor from Harry Potter. Oh, <laughs> Rebus, Rebus, lupus. <laughs> I don't know what is he called. Lupus. Lupin. My Lupin. English is lupin. How, in, in, Dutch? in Dutch is lupus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch it but because disease. lupus is not the Dutch word for the disease, so no, they can it use it. Lupus. Oh, Ooh. so <laughs> it is. Okay. No, okay. But... Confusing, confusing, boring for the listeners. Boring for well, no, this is fun. Somehow. Oh, we have so much fun. Yes, it's it's about nothing. You should see us. We are a visual organ. <laughs> Oh, we still have to do the movies. This is, yeah. this is the third time you've said visual art. Because I want to convince the people how pretty we are. Just like <laughs> just like Nigel Barker, in your opinion. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, Mercedes wins, and they win a shopping spree, and she takes Sarah with her. Which store did they win to? I mean, it, like a boring store. Yeah, I was like with the clothes. It was... I was like, yeah. do you want what? I would not be able to pick anything to take with me. I'm like, okay, well, it was girl nice. clothes, so it's gonna be hard for you. That's true. You it don't wear girl clothes. Fits. No, I don't. No, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it will work for me, but not for you. <laughs> for you, it would work. Yeah, it would, it would fit you. All right, but would you, have you ever worn a dress? Have I ever worn a dress? Maybe in a play? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Like like I'm in theater. Okay. Um, well, you wore a sausage. Oh, sausage I want costume. In what? Oh, you yeah. wore a sausage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was. That was. No, but once for a fun, like ten years ago, with a friend of mine, we swapped clothes, and I put on like a dress for like a was picture. Was it Erika? No, who did I think it? No. I thought it was Erika. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I, uh, it was Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious! All right. Um, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, Leo? who's Erika? Who's Mandy? Who's Mandy? <laughs> Mandy Moore. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and Erika Badu. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my two BFFs. Mandy Moore and Erika Badu. <laughs> All right. Um, Tyra Bale. <laughs> <which> says, <laughs> sink or swim? Yeah, oh well. And then they get to the shoot. With photographer George Holtz. And who is their future judge? Who? Nole Marin. Yeah. With his dog. Wait, what did you just say? Who is there? Or who is the, who is who is there? And who is also there? Okay. Question mark. <laughs> no, because no, you said yeah. like, who is there? Future judge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, yeah. no, it's there. T H E R E. And who is there so as I was well? Like, yeah. Who was? What, what, huh? <laughs> no, I won't say it again. George Holtz <laughs> is the photographer, <laughs> and who is there next to George Holtz as well? The future judge, Nole Marin. Yeah. And I'm like, with but, your dog, I'm over it. Like, oh, look at me being weird with my little chihuahua on the pillow. Like, just as a judging, he will be also taking his dog. I'm like, come on, boy. It's not very Ugh. good to keep your dog always on in your hands. And it's gross. He will poo, <laughs> he will poo in your hand. Come on, just put the... Help. If you train, it, it, it's no. like I want to be a diva. Look at me. I'm a, I'm a funny gay. Oh. Get over yourself. Sorry, Nole, but I'm hating feel, on you. I am. Feel, 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 feel. <laughs> Maybe he likes that. Yeah. <laughs> But they He'll have cool. Poop in <laughs> your hands. He'll poo in your hands, in your arm. A dog is trained, you fool. <laughs> Not all dogs are trained. Yes, they are. Are they? That's how you train a dog when they're puppy. Well, I've never had a dog. <laughs> no way. <we're good. laughs> <laughs> They'll poo. It's but they have to poo sometimes. And if yeah, you keep them in your go, hands, that's why you take a dog on a walk. Yeah, but if he doesn't do it, yeah. But now I, I, I'm just annoyed by not <laughs> marinating your your dog, and I hope he will poo in your arm. <laughs> then you will learn from it. Well, you've okay. heard it there first, people. You heard it there. Okay, but then cool we go- makeup. <laughs> <laughs> to switch from poo yeah. to makeup. Yeah, it was yeah, cool makeup, makeup was like cool. red around the eyes. But, Sarah um, looked gorgeous. The shoot, the shoot was cool. The shoot Ooh, was cool. And can I say something about the shoot? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we go to judging right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, what I want to say about the shoot, even if someone doesn't give me permission, mm-hmm. is that J. Manuel. He is so sweet. He is so sweet to the girls. He's like helping them. I'm like, girls, you don't have to be that long underwater if you don't want to. It was an underwater shoot. And like, <laughs> he, he was so like, oh. Uh, Are you also attracted to Miss uh, to Jay Manuel? If he Mr. would be Jay? in front of me, I would be like, girl, come on in. Where? Everywhere. In your house? I don't care. In your I don't house. Care. 
<laughs> in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would take Jay Manuel to the forest. You wouldn't go to the forest. I, I, I don't believe he's an outdoorsy kind of guy. You can take it to the set <laughs> of the first photo shoot, the Garden of Eden. <laughs> take him there. <laughs> <laughs> we would, be, some ban- body paint we on would you. be banished immediately. <laughs> oh my god. And then you can say, like, Nigel, can okay, you take a picture? <laughs> <laughs> and join. No, you, would, you, would do, uh, you would do J Manual. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Ooh. And now they marry him? Who's that again? <laughs> the guy with the dog? And he's not my type. I think he's not so tall. I think. No, he's small. I think. He's small. You well, but tall. J Manual is also small. J Manual is also not that sm- tall. But. Uh, who cares if you lie down? You don't know the the, the, the leg. Down. Yeah, but uh, okay. He's, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're well, going. Wait, but this episode will take an hour, and we haven't even talked about the photo shoot yet. Yeah, but to be fair, I don't have anything more to say about the photo shoot. I have a few sentences. Okay, go Listen, for it. Listen, I will just read down what I wrote. Okay. Cool makeup. Yeah. Sarah looked good. <laughs> okay. What is Camille doing? That was my question. Camille. Xio- oh yeah. Oh no. Haha. Xiomara with her feet. That was funny. Yeah. She le- looked like a duck. And then, I want April's red leather boots. shoes. Oh. She looks gorgeous. Well, yeah, those boots are cool. Yeah. They were, I like boots when they're over the knee. I over always knee, find it. Ooh, like they're longer her. than the knee. I always want them because they make sure I want I want the boots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Um, no, like April in America's Next Top Model. Okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I, I agree with everything that you're saying. But also... Um, that Shani was like doing a puffy face. Oh, Shani, she didn't. She, yeah. she didn't do well. No, it wasn't Not your it, day. It wasn't her day. But um, yeah, I thought the shoot was fine. It was fine, but it was obvious who did good and who did bad, and the yeah. pictures were. Well, fine. actually, no, because this is gonna be a nice transition. Camille during the shoot, you thought, what, what's she doing? It was weird. But then we go to judging. Switch. And then the, her picture was awesome. That's true. But are we going to judging now already? Yeah, I'm done with no. the shoot. No. Okay. Two moms came over. Oh, yeah. Uh, that wasn't that Aww. interesting to me. Well, the only thing is... The moms of Mercedes and Sarah. Yeah. The other prize was the moms of Mercedes. I would, I'm would. i also like, huh, how long did they stay there? Like, it felt like a half an hour and they flew all the way there. So, I have no idea how long this evening takes. And then, oh, Tara comes... Also, right, I wrote down, Tara comes, also comes over with her mother. That's what I wrote down. But Tyra's like, no, oh, I, don't I care. thought that was really cute because Tyra's mom, she was nice. She was like giving the girl some good advice. She was like, no, she was talking about how her daughter did it. No, she oh, was giving, oh, that's true. She's like, you will be alone. Yeah. You will be alone in the hotel room. <laughs> alone. And then she said, don't take any drugs. And then you see Shandy in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so mean. Uh, yeah, no, but I, yeah, I thought she was really sweet. And uh, I, yeah. It was nice, and the moms. So nice, bri- how cool if your moms come over. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, and then we can go to. The then judging. now we can go to judging, and then Nole with his dog. Pfft. That's what I wrote down. Nole with. Pfft. Yeah, P F F F. He pooped. Pfft. Yeah, <laughs> Nole and his dog pooped at his arm. <laughs> <laughs> Who were your tops? Um, I'm not talking about the challenge anymore. I'm only talking about. Oh, the A and T M beauty yeah. challenge. Who cares? Oh, my top by far was April. Oh, Her same. picture was so good, but apparently she was not good as a spokesperson for ANTM Beauty. Yeah. That's why she didn't get the first call out. But April was my top, 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 top. Yes. And then actually, I don't have a lot of other. Yeah, others were all like okay or bad, actually, in my opinion. Like I have Camille, okay picture. Joanna, okay picture, but it was obvious. And. Everyone likes Katie's picture. I didn't like. I like her post, but her eyes were weird, cross-eyed. I didn't like Katie's picture. It was April, April, April. I did April, like April, Katie's picture because I thought when they zoomed in on her face, I was like, "Yeah, but you're not gonna look at her face that zoomed in." That's true. Emma I like Katie's picture. Okay. What was your? What were your favorite? What are your top? April and Katie. Oh, yeah. And what were your bottoms? Um, I had J. Manuel and Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your tops. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. No, yeah. I wish. I wish. I think Nigel will be your top, and J. Manuel will be your bottom. That, to be honest, how would that? Okay, never mind. We're getting this is getting a raunchy episode, <laughs> but we um, haven't said anything bad, so it, it doesn't have to be explicit. True. Well, actually, I already. Did. Hey, little kids. I, <laughs> well, I, I already did. Oh. I said the B word. Okay, let's keep it explicit then, because it's a weird episode. Okay, this but, is for um, no, after hours. My bottoms were uh, Xiomara, Shandy, and Mercedes. Yeah, mine, Xiomara and Shandy. Mercedes was okay. No, no, no. it wasn't a good okay. picture. She had like a puffy face going up. Oh yeah, and um, uh, 
Um, Jenna's also didn't like her. Like no. Miss Bubbly, you bubbled out. Yeah. That was that was a Mercedes, right? I yeah. love Jenna's as a judge. Like, oh, she's so hilarious. But it, <laughs> it's it's not hilarious where she's like making fun of the girl. It's just like it it it's the way it is. It's facts. Jenna's and her one liners. Yeah, it's just like bam. Oh my god! And how awkward was Camille with the challenge? Like oh. um, last year, I won a, com oh. a competition, and they put makeup on my face. It's called America's Next Top Model. I'm like, do you understand what the assignment is? Self-indulgent munch. It was oh. yeah, it was super weird. Oh, but still, no. I find it also. I, it's good television. Yeah, and I also I find it also a little bit endearing because I also thought like maybe you find it endearing. Now, can I tell you why? Because I also no. think that she. Okay. <laughs> no, go for it. I think she maybe misunderstood <laughs> the the assignment because that is A and T and beauty, and you have to sell it. Maybe she thought like, oh, if there's going to be a beauty beauty product out of the show, I have to sell it. But I'm only will be able to sell it when I am the winner. So I love she, that you think that naive because I don't think that was her thought process altogether. I think she just thought. Let me just sell this product and let me put myself. Uh, let me just say say what I want to be, which is the winner. So I'm gonna call out call out right now. <laughs> yeah, it, and the funny thing was when everyone was saying like, "Oh, you come across harsh," or it, "This is not likable." She went immediately. Her face went like her chin went back like like yeah. It, it wasn't good. She's not good at taking criticism. Well, no, she she's just. I loved it because Tyra says like she she she's a person who needs to tell other people what to do, and I totally agree. I think if you would hire Camille to be a director of something she would nail the job but if she is the person who gets told things to do it's not mm. okay there's that's that's i think i, I totally she should be the photographer but she did some she does something for branding or something right because she once said in an episode oh, like oh i did that uh, when they were in the bus yeah in the beginning so she yeah. is some, doing something yeah. in the in, well, like in the office which is that explains it Go back to your office, but she's not because she's making good television shows. She stayed in the show. First call out was Sarah. Yeah, where was Sarah? Oh, she was fine in her picture. For me, it was April. I think for you as well. Yeah, April was the best. Bottom two, um, Siamara and Camille. For me, it would have been well. Oh, it's so hard because I those are my two actually my two favorite. But just based on the photo shoot, it would have been Shandy and Siamara. Yeah, those were my bottom two. Yeah, but but they are my favorites. But who were the bottom two actually? It was uh, Siamara and Camille. Oh yeah, I actually wished that they did send off Camille actually yeah. because I don't feel like she's gonna, I feel like she's gonna make good television, but I don't feel like she's gonna um, bring anything to the competition except for yeah. her being annoying. And I like, think like Robin last year. No, but Rob, uh, here, here she's again. She's coming back every episode. <laughs> We're going to keep this up until uh, season cycle 11 or something. No, but with Robin, okay, she, I was annoyed by her, but I did feel like she she was, um, oh no, okay, this is it. With Camille, she's been hearing this from like episode three already that she needs to work on her attitude. There's been interventions in the house already. And with Robin, it only became a thing in like the last yeah, two episodes. It begin didn't became that full thing. And with Camille, it's like from the beginning, everyone has been like, "You're a witch. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. You're annoying. You're doing it for for yourself." And she's also saying like, "I'm here to win. I'm not here to make friends." So it's kind of getting redundant. That's true. Ooh, nice, nice work. Redundant. It's repetitive yeah. and redundant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, but. It was obvious that they were not going to send Camille away. No. And, and, and that's why one of my top favorites, who are not not even because she's the best model, but I just liked her. No, but I, I do mm, feel that she that she Omara had more in herself. It was like the same as in with the finale of uh, Cycle One, where we had um, Shannon and um, Adrian, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Where they were like, "Who would you pick?" And then I, uh, I remember I was saying like, Adrian has more something unique, and yeah. Camille doesn't have anything unique. No, and no, no, that's is true. Way more unique. Yeah, Xiomara, you remember her face. Yeah, and you also could tell that Tyra didn't like sending her away. No, you could tell that she was like, oh, "I want to." And it you. was hard because I think you know most of the girls who are left are quite good. Well, not all of them, but no, there's I agree. a lot of girls. Yeah, a lot I of agree. girls who could win. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and four or five who are like quite good. I'm rooting for April. I'm rooting for April. Oh, me too. Yeah, we know who's going to win, but I'm rooting for April and Shandy and Mercedes. <laughs> You're rooting for everyone, pretty much. <laughs> well, except for Camille and Katie. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, a uh, true, yeah. true, true. Oh, and then Xenia goes away, and she said, "Beside being born, this is the best thing <gasps> that ever happened to me." Yeah, oh. that's all. Oh, then I was like, "Oh, girl, that's so cute." Yeah, that was really oh. Aww. I hope I hope maybe now also other nice things happen to her in do, the last do you seventeen years. You know what happened to her? You already don't always know. Is everything. it like I because last last cycle we talked to Giselle and I wanted to I thought about maybe contacting some girls from this cycle contact to talk her. about. I think I want to contact yeah, Cecilia Mara. There see are a few who are happen. nice to talk about. I think to talk to and I I think I'm 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 quite excited about what Cecilia Mara would do. I, I will send her a message. Let's make it happen. Yeah, maybe a few others as well. I think a few of them would be nice to talk to. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll, yeah. Well, Let's put it out there right now, see Omara. Let's see if we can yeah. make a, like a, an interview happen. That would be yeah. awesome. Since this was your 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 goodbye episode, we can talk about the whole process. Yeah, in a, that in would be episode. nice. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I we'll won't see. make it happen. I won't make it happen today. All right. And on that note, that's everything we got. This to was say. it. Yes, seven, seven girls down. Yes, we got seven girls left. But one thing, the next episode, we saw the preview. It's going to be Ooh. hilarious. Acting. Yeah, it's going to be hilarious. But we'll save that for next episode. So for now, we'll say bye. Bye bye.